The question number 26 is how many times more intense is a 60 decibel sound than a 30 decibel sound? And you know that the loudness level is equal to 10 and the log of I2 upon I1 intensity and this difference 60 minus 30 is equal to 10 the log of the new intensity to the old intensity. Uh, so 30 is equal to 10 log of I2 by I1 and so 3 is equal to log of I2 by I1 and using the definition of log so if I remove the log then I2 by I1 will go 10 to power 3 therefore I2 will be equal to 1000 times I1 so the new intensity has gone 1000 times more than this Therefore, the correct option is option number 1. The question number 27 is the ratio of the intensity of the two current waves is 9 s to 4. The ratio of the maximum to minimum intensity due to superposition of the waves will be. Now, the maximum intensity to the minimum intensity, the ratio is equal to the first amplitude, second amplitude, whole square divided by A1 minus this whole square. Now, if the intensity ratio is given and intensity is proportional to amplitude square, so A1 by A2 will be equal to 9 by 4 root and 9 by 4 roots means 3 by 2. So if I take as 3x, the second would be 2x and this is equal to 3x minus 2x. So 3 to 5, 5 square and divided by 1 square. Therefore, the maximum to minimum intensity is 25 as to 1. So, correct option is the answer 2. The question number 28 is, the consider a cylindrical tube of length 240 centimeter, which is closed at one end. It is slowly filled with water such that the height of the water in the tube is increasing at a rate of 2 centimeter per second. The rate of change of fundamental frequency when the water level in the tube is 120 centimeter and the velocity of sound is given 340 meter per second. Now dear student, for the closed tube, the formula for frequency is equal to V by 4x, where x is the instantaneous length of air coulomb for the closed tube. Now he is saying the rate of change of fundamental frequency, that means dn with respect to dt, you have to find. So dt of the v with the speed of the sound which is constant upon 4 and x. So v by 4 I will take out and you are left with dt of x power minus 1. So this is v by 4 and x power minus 1 is equal to minus 1, x power minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 and along with dx by dt. This is the rate dn by dt. So I write here that dn by dt is equal to minus v by 4 x square into dx by dt. dx by dt is basically the rate at which this length is getting shortened and that value is given to you in the question. And v you have given 340 meter per second. Instantaneous length is 120 centimeter and dx by dt is given 2 centimeter per second. So, you have to fill the data here, then dn by dt will be equal to 1 hertz per second. So, the correct option to this is option number 4. The question number 29 is, a man is standing somewhere between two cliffs. When he claps his hand, he hears at two echoes, one after two second and other after four second. The taking the speed of the sound to be 300 meter per second, find the distance between the cliff. And see, this is the hill 1 and here somewhere is hill 2. Now, the echo is produced when the sound is reflected back and let's say this distance is x. The sound goes and then returns back. And likewise, say this distance y, the sound goes to distance y and then returns back. I look at this time is given 2 seconds for going and returning and this time is given 4 seconds when you hear the first echo. 
and see it means one second is taking on this side and it is taking two second to go and I write that x plus y which is the width of the hill is equal to velocity into time and for x it is the one second and for y it is 2 second because 2 to go and 2 to come back. Now x plus y is basically the width between the valleys or the hills. So w is equal to v and bracket it is 1 plus 2. And what is v given? 300. And 1 plus 2 is 3. So the width between the valley is 900 meter. And the correct option is option number 1. Question number 30 is, if the pressure amplitude of the sound wave is increased by a factor of 4, then the average intensity increases by a factor. Now see, the intensity is equal to P square upon 2, the density and the velocity. So the intensity is proportional to the pressure amplitude square. And it says increases by a factor of 4. So therefore, this will become 16 times more than the initial values. So answer is 4 to this question. 